Hey folks, I want to share some information when migrating from Webpack to Vic and still having your JS tests working. This was a large amount of pain to figure out. I think it will help someone. So I'll just quickly go through the PR. You'll find this at Tour of Heroes React Beat Cypress TS repo. So when we first initially made this repo, we disabled all the chest stuff because it was just this smelly onion layer by layer. You fix something, something else blows up and the error messages have never been helpful. So here is some pointers that makes things possible. So let's just take a look at package.json first. All right, so as you see, it was a to-do before. This is simple. So installing Jest and Jest related things. So I'm matching the same versions as I have in my Webpack repo. Same version of Jest, Jest environment, Jest DOM, types, yes, Jest. This one, Vite plugin environment, yeah, it's kind of like a highlight. I like that one, but it can be a double-edged sword and I'll show you why. So this import.meta, Thing in Vite, just hates that to death. Okay, just likes process EMV, and they're all used to that. We like process EMV, so we want to use process EMV everywhere. How do we make that happen? So let's go to Vite config, and this is actually quite useless in GitHub because when you click on it, it doesn't even go to the file. But so we can just type it anyway. In order to use process.env, we want to install this Vite plugin environment and then be careful about what environment variables we're using. So the only process env that I'm using in this repository is this environment variable, Vite API URL. You might see some documentation saying use all. If you do that, in a very weird way, you will blow up Cypress component testing and the error message is going to be from outer space. No relevance whatsoever. But I'm guessing when you do all, it is interfering with some of the environment variables that are being used in Cypress. So you don't want to do all, just list the environment variables you're using. And that's all. After that, you can be using process.env. The other thing I was different in V, it comes with this uh, default port 5137. You can change that here. So you'll see some changes in this PR, in the package.json file, and in the YAML that are dealing with that. So here we have those process.dme changes, which are quite simple. Nothing to worry about besides these two key highlights in the Vita config file and then the process.dmv changing. Actually, nothing so big. That's the, the main problems to solve was that meta thing instead of process the import meta just hates that. So once you solve that problem, the rest of it just trickles down, right? Um, if you're using path aliases, you might want to watch out for one more thing. Uh, that actually reminds me the just config settings that have to be different for me. So, Mind you that with the Webpack version of things, I have these just as working, no problem. But uh, with the Vite version, it was like a whole nother mess. The path aliases, once you define them in Vite, if you want just to be aware of them, you have to define them under this property called modules name wrapper in a very interesting format, but this is what it takes to get it to work. The other thing is if your base URL if for these path aliases is different, for instance, my path alias base URL in my TypeScript settings is source. If you have something like that, you have to define that in roots. And this is an extra. So I have this file, nothing changed in this file. In Webpack, it would just work fine. But with, with Vit, I had to specify enable this property and specify that file right so that it would be aware of things to do with react testing library so i think the highlights here are this js.config file and then the vita config file 
if you get these two things right, I think it's going to be a very smooth transition from Webpack to Vite for your tests in Jest. That's all. Enjoy.